being your authentic self. You got to be your authentic self to go viral. Does that make sense? So I'm going to start all over before I get into my message today. There are those of you who are putting on and you're putting on for people and you're not going to get what God will have you to get as long as you're putting on. To be your authentic self. Now here's what happens. I'm going to be real. Here's what happens when you're your authentic self. You're going to lose a lot of people. You're going to lose a lot of people. But you're going to gain people who are ride or die. Does that make sense? Okay, so most of y'all know I had an opportunity to be on a big show, right? That they show in the morning to millions of people. And by the grace of God, I didn't go. And people was like, E, bruh, millions of people could have, you could have sold more books. I said, I don't want another million people in my life. I'm not interested. I don't need a million more problems. I don't need a million more people in my life. I don't need a million more people to buy books. I don't need no more money in my life right now. God has given me what I need for right now. I don't need no more money. Now you might need more, but I don't need no. I don't need nothing else. You're not about to convince God that you're no different than who you are. He knows who you are. If you would just realize who you are and embrace it, he could finally give you his plan. But he can't give you his plan when you're this version of you. So all you really have to do is develop and he will deliver. As you develop, God is going to deliver more of the plan. The reason why you don't have a full plan is because you ain't fully developed. God can't deliver to you what he wants to deliver to you because you're not developed to the level you need to be developed to get the stuff and you chasing the stuff when all you need to chase is development and as you develop that's why I got a very few followers on Instagram it's people telling jokes they got 10 million followers they telling jokes they got 10 million they telling jokes I could tell some more jokes and get the numbers up but I'm not interested in uh, making people laugh ain't nothing funny we live in a society right now, ain't nothing funny. I mean, I'm gonna be telling you jokes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk development talk. Why? Because a small group of people are ready to get developed. But once you get developed, then God delivers. These things I command you, that ye love one another. 
If the world hate you, ye you know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Hey, Shalom. All praises to you, Hal Bashem. Yahushai, Bashem, Rekakodash, much mercy to you, sincere brothers. That's understanding this covenant and that's growing in this covenant and that know that you're of God and that actually believe and just growing in the grace of God every day. Um, because it's about repenting and growing in God, man. That's what this is about. Um, uh, we're at a point in this ministry where we're not seeking approval of men or we're not seeking the acceptance of men to be seen of men. We're not seeking none of that. Uh, we at a point where we are proving that certain men have to repent. That's what point we're at. Um, just like a point in the Lord's ministry where he uh, couldn't be seen more openly. We've we've reached that point already. We're not in the point of going back, having to prove ourselves to men to let men see us and and let, make men understand that they see us and we're here in the, in the physical and you see us. The light is the understanding of the word. A lot of you guys, I'm going to just say it like this. You you don't have that understanding. The, 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 the new covenant comes with a higher level of understanding, too. And the Lord reached that understanding to where he didn't want to be seen. It wasn't about him being open out there amongst his people anymore. It wasn't about that at a certain point. A lot of you guys have not reached that point. So for you to speak of us over here. Uh, you still want people to see, you still want to see something. <laughs> you don't have to see shit. Go repent. That is what this is. You need to go repent. A lot of you guys are in the spirit of you deep down, you have hate and envy in you, you know, and, that, and that's sad, you know, because all we've done is just teach the new covenant. And deep down, you could tell guys think that they feel a certain way because they want to see us, you know, we're not doing something in their mind that, you know, in their mind, we're not doing something that they need to see us. You see, you don't need to see shit. I, and I heard one video. He said you could be niggas behind a comic board or or brothers on the street. So certain guys that are teaching this right now, they think that because they're being seen that they're better than us. That's not being seen. That's what that's what's on guys heads. Guys still got issues. But a claim that, you know, just teach his word. Well, that's your problem. And, you know, I'm going to say this again. We're not in this to prove nothing to none of you guys. We're already proving that a lot of you guys should repent. That's what's being proven. And what's more important is that you repent and don't worry about seeing us. A lot of you guys re require a sign. Let me read this because this is a lot of you guys, even in the new covenant, you require to see something. So you just a lot of you are like these camps. That's the truth. And then let me come back to this and go into mercy a little bit today. Yeah, but we're not in the business at not at this point where we're at right now. We're not in the business of being seen. We don't have to. Our work is being seen. Our light is being shined. The light is the word is of understanding. It's not us. You seeing us carnally. <laughs> Everybody wants some shining to be seen. We don't want no shiner to be seen in this world. And if you don't understand that, then you won't understand it. Just like you won't understand it. It got to a point, the Lord, he didn't want nobody to see him no more. Only ones that were seeing him was his disciples. He didn't walk no more openly. What do you not understand about that? If you want to go out, you go out. Don't worry about what we're doing. A lot of you guys don't have that understanding. And that's the thing. You can go out and be seen, but if you're not really repenting and you have secret hate in your heart, then it, you're not really doing anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. Matthew 16 and 4, a wicked and an adulterous generation seek of after a sign. A wicked and an adulterous generation seek of after a sign. They're seeking to see something all the time. They're seeking something to worship. The new covenant is not about that. Is, is, is If you're of God, bro, then you're of God. You were predestined and you're of God and, no, and can't nobody do nothing about that. The only thing you're required to do is to teach the Lord's word. You're not required to see anything. They're not required to see you. That's why the Lord said in Matthew 23, all works guys do is to be seen of men. 
So we're in a world now where guys think that just because you're being seen carnally, that that makes you better than somebody or you you brave or something. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You guys can think what you want to think. Men are repenting to the new covenant. You don't have to see the men that's repenting to the new covenant. You don't have to see 144,000 guys repenting. You don't have to see that. So this, these guys taking their little shots at us, it's fine, you know. We understand, you know, we don't we don't hate you guys. We understand a lot of you guys don't really have that understanding like that. That's all that that's saying. That's all that that's saying. And a lot of guys, like I've said before, um, they actually hate who the Lord actually set up to teach them. And that's true. And that's true. I'm not being proud, but that's just a that's just what this is. A lot of guys yeah, you may understand certain things, but it's a level where the Lord got to, to and just like where we're at, where we don't require ourselves to be seen as people. We're not proving ourselves to, to nobody. You either repent or don't repent. It, it doesn't really matter to us because we're doing what we're supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? So you can go out or, you know, teach the word. <laughs> we're not, you know, it's not, It's this ain't, this ain't a time for us to be seen to the world. This world is about to die off. You got to be seen in the spirit. This is uh, Matthew. Matter of fact, Matthew 16 and 3. And in the morning, it should be a foul weather. And today, for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, ye hypocrites, you can't discern of the face of, face of the sky, but you cannot discern the signs of the time. Like a lot of our guys in these truth. A lot of guys in these camps, or you know, just and certain guys in the new covenant, they can discern things on the outward, but the deeper things, they're they're not really into that. They're not really telling you to repent. They're worried about being seen, just like these camps. They could they could discern all the prophecies and the shit happening in the world, but they can't tell you that it's time to repent to the new covenant now. You're waiting on that. You see that you see how crazy that is? Hey, and I seen one video. It said that repenting is for something, but guys are trying to make it seem like repenting is wicked or something. It's heavy, man. It's heavy, man. Matter of fact, hold on, hold on. Let me find this. Uh, let me go to this real quick. Bro, we're amongst a wicked and an evil generation, and it's a good thing you don't have to be... Uh, you don't have to prove yourself to nobody. If they, they can't hear your words... And accept your words and, and repent and understand through the spirit that it's about you repenting and not motherfucker seeing you. You're not we're not proving ourselves to anybody. You see, you see, it got to a certain point. The Lord just wasn't throwing himself out there like that. And you guys don't understand that. That's your problem. You see, that's your problem. Yeah, I seen this one title of this video. It said, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, guys are uh guys are guys are fucking wicked, bro. It says repentance is for the guilty. Whew. So in this time, that it's just like um when the Lord said all them wicked scribes and the Pharisees, they said that they could see. But really they couldn't see. They all were fucking blind. And that these guys are blind. So these guys have never repented unto the new covenant. Matter of fact, they've never really repented at all. Teaching the Bible. It's heavy. So it says uh, repentance is for the guilty. That's heavy. So in their mind, they say that they can see and they've never repented into the new covenant. The Lord said all shall come into repentance. Let me bring that out. So you got some wicked guys out there in this time, bro. Let me read this and come back to this. Yeah, the scriptures say all should come to repentance. <laughs> yeah, it is heavy, bro. Yeah, it is very heavy. Yeah, so we're living in a time where guys are just, they're, they're, a lot of guys are carnal 
it really can't really understand that far. And um, guys think that everybody's lot is so with somebody else's lots. We we got different lots. If you want to be seen of men, that's your lot to be seen. You see, it's not, it's not our lot to be seen. Guys are still on that. But that's fine, you know. I'm not mad at any of you guys. I, I understand that a lot of you guys understanding only goes so far. I understand that. Uh, let me see this. Uh, yeah, guys are saying repentance is for the guilty. Now, now if you're not repenting, then you're you're found guilty. You see, because you're still in your sins. So when the Lord came, the repentance it went to the old law. You got to repent to the new covenant. Guys do not have an understanding. It is heavy. This is Acts uh, 13, 24. And John had first preached before his coming the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel, to all the people of Israel. It's about repenting unto the Lord of the new covenant. You're not waiting on the covenant. That's where they get you. So you guys that's not repenting, you're blind, you're miserable, you see? It's heavy, bro. Then uh, Acts 19 and 4, and then Paul said, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him. That is Yahweh Shah Vashiach. So the, the baptism of repentance is, is the new covenant. That's the only thing you have to repent to. That's the only thing the Bible is talking about repent to. Now, a lot of you guys are talking about repentance is for the guilty. Well, I guess you guys have been made whole already. So the wicked, let me bring this out too. The wicked can't repent. That's in Revelations. Let me read this. Let me give you some understanding. Yeah, let me. Yeah, this is Revelation 16 and 9. And so, to show you that our people are really wicked in this time, even certain guys of the new covenant, like, it's, it's heavy because you guys are worried about being seen. That's at the bottom line, that's what a lot of guys are worried about. And you don't have to see us for you to repent. If you, if you were really repenting, then you wouldn't worry about trying to see men. You'll be worrying about just repenting. But guys are worried about seeing us. That's really an issue with guys. That's heavy, man. That's why I just stay away, man. And just it's all about repenting. You see, that's that's what this thing is. You know, you're re you're repenting. Nobody has to see you. But that's the thing. If you're not really repenting, you're not fooling nobody but yourself. Guys think because people see them, that means that they're better than other brothers that ain't being seen we're not required to be seen of you guys we're required to feed the sheep all right now this is revelation 16 so you got to keep in mind that esau can't repent so a lot of you guys that's that are that are in these so-called camps these death camps these concentration camps that your elder basically was, was telling you about back in the day that's what the that's what these camps are they're concentration camps keeping you from power keeping you from your power that's what that's what these groups were set up for certain guys of the new covenant they're in a the carnal mind they have to see something but this is revelation 16 and 9 and men was scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of power which have power over these plagues Woo! you see that and these men were scorched with great heat and blasphemed the name of power, which had power over these plagues. So you actually being of God, you have power over these plagues. You have power over these things in the, on the earth. It says, and they repented not to give him glory. And they repented not to give him glory. And they repented not. So what the scriptures is saying, guys can say all praises and glory to the Lord, but you're not really praising the Lord if you're not 
uh, teaching men to repent unto his covenant. Now, when you go to that word, uh, what's that in first John? It tells you, uh, uh, what's that word? First John. Matter of fact, let me grab this real quick. A lot of guys, they crept into this not not fully. You have to shed the flesh off, bro. It ain't up to us. You, it, we don't have to prove to you. You don't have to see us. You have to repent. Bottom line, we, you don't have to see us for you to repent. If you repented, then you wouldn't have to worry about fucking seeing us. You see, that's crazy. What's important is the word is reaching. A lot of you guys, you want to be, you you want people to commend you for this this ain't about that the commandment you're getting is brothers repenting they're understanding what you're saying and they're coming out of the world in cancer groups and they're repenting that is the reward that is the uh, uh, com uh that is that is what we're looking for and you can't see men repenting you just know that that brothers are repenting Right. So when you go into confess, right, that word confess goes into agreeing and it goes into honoring the Lord. So when you go into that word confess, like right here, first John four and 15, and whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the son of power, God dwelleth in him and he in God. Right. So you have to confess the Lord by agreeing with him. Now, when you agree with him, you have to agree with his covenant. That word confess goes into agree, to honor, to celebrate. So it's not just you uh, uh, just agreeing and saying the Lord's name. You have to agree on his covenant. So the covenant requires you to repent. Matter of fact, let me go up real quick. John 4 and 3. Matter of fact, let's go to this blue letter right here. Yeah, shit. It, you, you know, it's crazy, guys. They're still on that. Oh, you have to see us shit. <laughs> you ain't got to see a goddamn thing, man. You better go repent, bro. Get out of that mind frame. You guys are still carnal. But that's okay because guys can, everybody can do their teaching. And then we're going to teach us few brothers teaching over here, we're going to teach and what we're teaching is going to be different because we're not teaching you that you have to see somebody. <laughs> it's crazy, bro. That's crazy. This Yahweh Shai is a stumbling block to everybody that's actually carnal. You see? It's heavy. So I guess you got, like I said, they don't understand as the Lord grew heavier in the spirit, he didn't want to be out there open. But you guys want to be open. That's you. Go be open. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, 1 John 4 and 3, every spirit that confesseth not, matter of fact, 1 John 4 and 2. Uh, let me start at 1. 1 John 4 and 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are, are God. Because many false prophets are going out into the world. So you have to, what, what's happening is all the spirits are being tried if you're actually carnal. Or if you're of God by what you're speaking. You see, not by how guys see you. That's carnal. Because the, the new covenant is worshiping the Lord in the spirit. So you have to really repent. Not for guys to really see you. You see, we're in a different time now. The, the Back in them times, why don't you guys go out to the streets without a camera then? You see, you can't do that because a lot of you guys just want to be seen. That's all. You, that's all you go out there for. Then just go out there on the street and just teach. So the equivalent of what you guys are doing and us being not seen teaching on the Internet is the same shit. Then go out there and not be seen then. Without a camera. A lot of you guys just do this to be seen. We, we do this to give you understanding. And then when you come down to, a, to, to the real understanding of it, it's not required for us to see a sign. If you have to see something that is saying that you're carnal, that you have to see something. That's not faith, man. 
First John 4 and 1, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they have a God, because many false prophets are going out into the world, right? You have many guys that are false prophets. So what's happening? The spirit is trying, guys. The light is the understanding of the gospel, which is out there. We have done what the Lord told us to do. Now, the thing is, we're not doing what men tell us to do because men have malicious intents. Men think you have to prove something to them. We don't have to prove shit to none of you guys. You either repent to the gospel or you just be of the world. It don't matter to us. We, we've done what the Lord told us to do. And we've been teaching. A lot of guys have that secret hate in their heart. A lot of guys are just carnal. And you can see it as the time goes on. It says, hereby ye know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is of God. Right. So every soul that confesseth. Now this goes into that word confesseth. Let me read it again. Strong's G, 3670, Hamalageo, Hamalageo. Right, and this has to come out because what you have to understand is that guys, just by saying all glory and praises to the Lord, they're saying it, but they don't agree with the covenant. They're not repenting to it. So a lot of guys are in transgression because they're not under the new covenant. They're of the world. It says to, the, to, to say the same thing is another i.e. to agree with to assent i.e. to agree with so confessing the new covenant and confessing the lord you're agreeing with him and his covenant to concede to not refuse to promise to not deny to confess that's what guys are doing they're denying the covenant having you waiting on it right now or they're not denying it they're telling you to wait for it that's the same shit that's crazy i mean you don't have it right now to confess to confess to admit declare one's guilty to profess to declare openly and that's what we're doing we're declaring the new covenant openly we put these video epistles out there openly we are not hiding the gospel our light is shining where do you guys think a lot of you got the understanding of the gospel from not not to fucking brag or boast but it was a period of point of time when nobody even teaching the new covenant now we got guys popping up saying that the, the guys have to see us and you ain't got to see shit. Go repent. <laughs> it's crazy. Guys got you focusing on the wrong shit. We're not of the world. We don't care about uh, guys accepting us. The Lord said you'll be hated of all men. Right. So if you don't understand how we're doing it, don't worry about how we're doing it. You do it how you think you're supposed to do it. You see, don't worry about it. the guys want to see you. They require you to be seen. You're good. See, this thing is a spiritual thing. You either get it in the spirit or you don't get it. This don't require you to see something. This requires you to believe. This requires you to actually have love. And this requires you to actually have uh, faith and, uh, and understand judgment. It says to profess, to declare openly, speak out freely, speak out freely, speak out freely. We're speaking the new covenant. We're speaking it out freely. That's what we're doing. We're not hiding this, doc this doctrine. <sighs> to profess oneself, the worshiper of one, to praise, to celebrate. So we're letting ones, know, letting everybody know that we are under Yahweh Shai and we're teaching his covenant. Beautiful. I don't have to prove nothing to none of you guys. A lot of you guys are fucking low key reprobate. It says to confess promise give thanks confession is made acknowledged right so only thing that we're set up to do is to feed the lord's sheep you don't have to be seen in this deceitful world in this deceitful time you see it's heavy bro so first john four and three and every soul that confesseth not that yahweh shai is coming to flesh is not of god every soul that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai is coming to flesh is not of God. So if, you, if you're in these camps and you're teaching that the new covenant ain't here yet, you're not of God, plain and simple, according to the scriptures. There's no scripture in there where the Lord said that his blood was a down payment. You guys are reprobates. It's just reprobates everywhere. And I don't want to be seen out there. I don't. We're not required to be seen at this point. Just like the Lord, he no longer walk openly. 
So basically, we're only teaching to those ones that could actually receive the Lord, bro. That's that's it. And all you have to do is repent. It's not required for you to see us. You see? We're not proving nothing to none of you guys. We don't want nothing from none of you guys. We just want men to repent. The scriptures say all men to repent. And then now you got guys teaching that repentance is for the guilty. Yeah, you need to repent to the new covenant because before this, you didn't repent. You're not repenting them to Moses. So, I mean, if you're not repenting unto the Lord, you're just a reprobate. You don't have any power. You have any. You don't have any faith. You don't have any love if you don't repent. Idiots, idiots out there, bro. <sighs> it says, ye of God, little children, have overcome them because greater is he that is in you. Now, who is in you? The Lord is in you. Then it's he that is in the world. So we don't have to be in the world being seen out there, proving ourselves to people. The hell out of here. You guys are in that spirit where you have to prove yourself to people. We don't have to prove shit to none of you guys. Our work so forth, what we're about. We're declaring the Lord openly. We speak freely of the covenant. We're not like you guys, bro. Yeah, us over here, like you say. We don't have to be seen to nobody. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. It says, they are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world hears them. Right, so we're not here for all the world to hear us, bro. All right? We are of God, and he that knoweth God hear of us, and he that is not of God hear of us, not hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And a lot of you guys in the new covenant, you're focused on the wrong shit when you should just be focused on getting our people just to repent. It's not about them seeing you, man. It's not. It's about the message. Faith comes by hearing. We walk by faith and not by sight. A lot of you guys are carnal, man. You're carnal. So let's go back to this. A wicked generation, they seek up after a sign. Guys can't discern the times. The times now is for you to repent to the Lord and stop bullshitting. So if you're not really repenting, we can see like guys are not really repenting. A lot of guys have hate in them. They don't have understanding because you cannot enter into the kingdom of God if you don't actually repent. So if you're not actually repenting, then you don't actually have understanding. It's easy. So we don't have to see you to understand that a lot of you guys don't really understand this truth. All right. <laughs> it's heavy, man. Guys don't have. The Lord said greater is he that is in you. So understanding that the Lord is in certain of us by the Lord being in certain of us, we're not seeing with our fucking eyes anymore. <sighs> Matthew 16 and four, a wicked and adulterous generation seek up after a sign and there shall no sign be given unto it, but the sign of the, but the sign of the prophet Jonas and he left them and departed. <sighs> So a wicked generation, if you're part of the wicked generation, then you need to always see something. That means you're part of the wicked generation. It's heavy, but this is what the Lord said. I didn't say it. All right. It's crazy, man. For real. For real. That's why the Lord tell you in Jeremiah back in the old covenant testament, every brother is not a brother. Every brother is a, a supplant, especially in these times. That's why the scripture tell you too that um, when you go to Revelations, there is no fault found with them. So you can't, you can try to find fault with us certain brothers, but really there's no fault found with us before the throne because actually we're doing what we're supposed to do. In you guys' eyes, because a lot of you guys are carnal, you think that we should do this. No, the Lord told us what we should do. And we understand it got to a certain point where you don't have to be seen. You don't have to prove yourself anymore. We've been proven. We've been tried, fine. We've been tried, fine, and re we've been tried and refined already. We ain't, we ain't got to go back and prove to none of you guys nothing. You guys got it fucked up, bro. You just better worry about repenting. That's what you should be worried about. Because like I said, the men and the women out there that's repenting, you ain't going to see every man that's repenting. The hell out of here. It says, and the disciple will come to the other side, and they have forgotten to take bread. And Yahweh said unto him, Take heed, beware of the of the leaven of the Pharisees and other Sadducees. So you got to beware of the leaven 
of certain guys teaching. You got to understand who you're watching. This ain't about you being seen. It's about you repenting. We walk by faith and not by sight. So the ones that actually have faith, they're going to understand that faith comes by hearing, not by you seeing some motherfuckers right now. When the ancient times, they didn't have cameras. Like I said, you guys go to the streets without cameras. All right. So that proves guys just go to the streets to be seen. That proves that. That proves that. We're not proving ourselves to people. What we're proving is that certain men need to repent. That's it. By us teaching the Lord in the right proper contents and the right understanding. Because there are certain men that do just have a higher understanding. That have a higher lot. That are on different higher levels. That's just how the Lord made it. The Lord said from the least to the greatest of the elect. All right. We just understand what our lot is. If that's your lot to be seen, that's your lot. If it's our lot to be uh, not seen and just give you more understanding, that's our that's our lot. Don't knock us. Don't try to make us what you do. And you're better. Be, you're better than us because you're doing it. You know, who cares if you, that's what you think? Just teach the word. <laughs> but the Lord said, take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. You see? So us brothers that are with God, the scripture, the scripture say, if you're carnal, you can't judge us brothers that's already in the spirit. Now, if the spirit, the spirit talks about the Holy Ghost, you got to move like a ghost. That's another thing. If you're a ghost, you got to move like a ghost, bro. A ghost ain't always out there being seen. It's heavy, bro. Matthew 3 and 11. Indeed, I indeed baptize you with fire unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. So if you're if you're in the Holy Ghost. Right then you're not always out there to being seen just to be seen like that. The Lord at a certain point, he didn't, he, he wasn't out there to be seen anymore because he got to a certain point where everywhere he went, they, they either wanted to make him King or they wanted to kill him. That's what was happening back in them times. So guys that a lot of guys that are seeking to be seen, they're seeking to be put on a pedestal. We're not seeking that. We're just, we're here to help men to repent right now so we can get out of here. That's all we're here for. We're not here to be exalted. We're not here for guys to try to plot on us and scheme on us. We're here to help men repent. That's it. That's why guys don't really, uh, they're upset and they're, and they're mad because they don't understand that this work that we're doing is of the spirit. This ain't about you seeing us. It's about you hearing us and repenting. Mark 12 and 36 for David himself said by the Holy Ghost, the Lord said to my Lord, sit down on my right hand till I make thy enemies thy footstool. So by the Holy Ghost, and the ghost is not seen like that. All right. It's heavy, man. John 14, 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, which whom the father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. You see that? John 20 and 22. And when he said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, receive ye the Holy Ghost. So we're moving like ghosts. We're not moving like the world. All right. Have some understanding. Now let's go back to John 15. Uh, the whole point of this lesson is to understand the love that the Lord has for his men. And at a certain time, you should know that you don't have to be seen out there. That, that just proves that guys just don't, they don't have understanding. They think this is about them getting acknowledged. The, all the acknowledgement is going to the Lord. You're supposed to be getting men to repent, not worrying about seeing men. Guys are not, guys are not, um, that's not the main focus in these days as, as I'm seeing. Now this is John.
15 and 13. And I'm going to have to do a couple lessons on mercy because this is mercy by us teaching the Lord, giving you real understanding. This is the real understanding. Yeah, you can go out in there and teach. But we also understand it got to a point where the Lord didn't want to be seen. We're in that spirit. We don't want to be seen out there like that. And we're only teaching to a few anyway. You see, really this ain't for all you guys that's actually carnal. This is a higher, this is for higher understandings. And what you got to understand, every not everybody was given faith, mercy, and true discernment. This is, this is what we're finding out, all right? Now, John 15 and 13. It says, greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. So the mercy was showed on the elect when the Lord laid down his life for the elect back in those times. This is what you have to understand. That love was shown and that was unconditional love for the election. So the election in them times when they receive the Holy Ghost and they, when, when they received the spirit and the covenant back in them times, they were blessed with understanding. They were blessed with love, faith and discernment. They were blessed with the understanding of the law. While well, a lot of guys act like they are, but really they're not deep down. Guys have envy and hatred in them. You see, so if we didn't have no love. We wouldn't even teach this level of understanding the Lord told us to go out and teach it's not required of us to see you for us to see us we're not in this for that either they wanted to kill the Lord or either they wanted to make him king so he was like running from both of those things that's why he deserted to a wilderness alone by himself and he didn't walk openly anymore a lot you do not you have not reached that point yet don't get mad at us because we reached a certain point. It's heavy, man. It says, you are my friends if you do whatever I command you. And this is a very effective way to reach people without going to another city, without going to house to house. Just teaching on the Internet. And this reaches many people. And all we're getting you, hey, if you're of God, you have to repent. If you believe in God, just repent to the new covenant and lay low. You don't even have to be seen. You just have to repent. A lot of you guys in that spirit, well, yeah, you got to, we got to see you in this and get out of here, man. You're in that worldly carnal spirit. You got to repent from that shit. A lot of you guys are in that worldly spirit where you require a sign. That's not, a, that's not, that's not good. John 15 and 13, it says, greater love than no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. So the Lord laid his life down for the elect. So if, if you're not the elect, really then you're not going to actually have the testimony and the true understanding of the new covenant. You may act like you teaching the new covenant, but a lot of you guys don't really have that understanding, but it's good. A lot of you are just teaching it. It's good. But the one, the true friends of the Lord, they're going to have his understanding. They're going to have his mind. They're going to have the mercy of, of the Lord, which a lot of you guys don't understand either that everybody doesn't have the mercy of God to understand the Lord. Starting with you fucking camps. That are not repenting. You will not have any spiritual power. You will not see any fucking spaceships. It says, yeah, my friends, if you do whatsoever, I command you. Henceforth, I call you not servants, but for the servant knoweth not that his, what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father I have made on unto you. Exactly. So we're friends of the Lord. Isaiah, uh, Matthew 13, that treasure that's hidden in the field. It's not out there open. That's what the Holy Spirit is about. That's what the kingdom of heaven is like, a treasure being hid in the field. You don't have to always be open out there. Your light is the understanding that is out there. And that is unseen. Faith is unseen. Love is unseen. These are emotions. These are certain things that are in men because they have the Lord in them, which is the seal of the elect. A lot of you guys are not sealed. But that's fine. You know, um, at the end of the day, that's why we teach so certain men can have understanding because a lot of guys are still carnal. John 15 and 16, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you shall go 
that you shall go and bring forth fruit, that your fruit shall remain, that whosoever you shall speak of the Father in my name, he may give them unto you. These things I command you that ye love one another. And how to do how to the Lord say, uh, if you love him, you feed his sheep. You feed him the Lord. He said, feed the sheep. That's what the Lord said. So technically, we're not required for you to see us as long as we're feeding you. You don't need to you don't need to see us to feel the spirit. And to repent, you don't need to see it. it's heavy, man. It's just like a lot of you guys ain't on that level, man. It's all good, though. You know, it's all right. It's OK. But the Lord said, if the world hated you, just know it hated me. And the scripture tell you, you'll be hated of all men. You'll be hated of all men. Guys that say they're teaching the new covenant and these guys of the world. So we understand uh what the Lord told us. We understand the scriptures more, more than you guys can imagine. But there's no compromising um, with this word. We're doing what the Lord told us to do, not what men are telling us to do or what they think what we should do. Let me read this real quick. Revelations 14. And three, and they sung as it was a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. All right. So not everybody's redeemed. And it's a certain song we're singing. Repent to the new covenant. We're not telling me you have to be seen. We're telling you to repent, man. That's that's repenting is more important than you seeing something, man. <laughs> God damn. Jake, man. Jake got issues in the inside, man. You need to repent. A lot of you guys, bro. Because a lot of things are guys are leaking, man. It says, these are they which are not defiled with women, but they are virgins. These are they which follow the lamb whatsoever he go off these were they was redeemed from among men being the first fruits unto God and unto the Lamb. Most brothers that's really teaching the new covenant that really have an understanding we're not required to be seen in this world bro a lot of guys that's all your work to, is to do is to be seen and to say I did this that's not the right spirit to be in if the gospel is being taught it's being taught I say niggas behind a uh, screen and guys on the street. You see, it's heavy. I show you that guys true and true. The this um this word it makes you a true character comes out. It makes it come out. That's good, guys. Look at us as niggas behind the comic board. That's 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 all good. <laughs> that's cool. However you want to uh slice it. I just know you better repent. You see. But a lot of you guys, you're not even of this, man. You're just carnal. Uh, Revelations 14 and 5. Now check this out. And in their mouth was found no guile. And in their mouth was found no guile. So you ain't heard us speak nan lie or tell no fucking. Um, you have not heard us speak no heresies or no lies or none of that. But guys, a word about us being seen. And in their mouth was found no guile. We ain't never told you to use guile or lie on the scriptures. But guys are worried about seeing us. We ain't never told you, uh, the, uh, taught you a doctrine of women. But guys are worried about seeing us. We ain't never told you nothing wrong of the new covenant. But guys are worried about seeing us. We ain't never told you to wait on no covenant. But God is worried about seeing us. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they out, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Right. So we're out. We're us certain brothers, even though if you guys don't think it or not, we're found with our fault. Why? Because we're we're teaching what the Lord told us to do and we're found with, without fault before the throne, even though you can't find no fault with us. That's what guys are trying to do. They're trying to find a fault with us. But we're found with all fault, without fault. You just worry about teaching the word, bro. Don't worry about don't teach. You have to see something. That's a carnal Guys teaching that you have to see somebody shit. That's a carnal vibration. That means they're not walking by faith. 
All right. It's never over. Jake say it's over. Just teach. It ain't never over because guys got issues, man. They do. That's why I just, I just stay away, man. Now that's what that's this word fault right here. Strong's G two ninety nine. Amomas. Amomas. So certain men, they were without fault, even though if you try to make them have five fault, they are blameless without God because we have the whole testimony. All right. No matter what you guys say. It says without blemish as a sacrifice without spot or blemish. So the Lord is accepting certain of our sacrifices because it's found without fault, morally without blemish, faultless, unblameable. So certain of us are already unblameable. It don't matter what none of you guys are saying. Now, a lot of you guys are questionable because right now, a lot of you guys are, are leaning towards you always got to be seen. So that's not a good sign. It got to a point and we're not lying. It's in the scriptures where the Lord, he couldn't be open out there anymore. And we all know what happened to the apostles and them that got killed. Now, just because the apostles went out there and, and got killed. Yeah, we are the sacrifices. But even the Lord himself got to a point where he didn't want to be out there open no more. So that should say something to a lot of you guys. Or just that a lot of you guys are just carnal. You see? But with that, man, we walk by faith and not by sight. Repenting. You can't see men repenting. But you can understand if they're not. And with that, a shalom. Repent to the new covenant. With that, a shalom. <laughs>